Good day. My name is King Admiral Commander Black Dragon at your service. Now, um, we're currently at Founders World and we're going to be basically outfitting a Python because I thought to myself, well, I want a ship I can use for my for the things I want to use, in other words. Um, for doing for engineers and everything else and it has to be small enough to land on where I want to land on planets or um, land on other things I know the pipe is slow there's other things you get faster and all that but that's not the point um, I want something I can do like missions that has the internal compartments I want like, and the external compartments I want and we'll show you how I want to set up my Python. It's not for battle. It's not for um, like you can go this one here. Piece of crap, All right? Honestly, um, it's only for killing things. That's all it's worth. So I could go the next one up, which is the type not anaconda, but that's useless for what I want want it for. So let's go buy it. a Python. Confirm that. Now, we'll bring up the menu where I want to bring up for my Python. So we can um, have a look at it. I will be linking this link into, call it, into uh, the video itself. So you'll see the exact build. But we'll go for it. Now, I will have to modify things like the shield salt bank and other things that I'll turn lights on. Let's have a look at the Python from internal. Now, except for that bar, and that bar there, I don't mind it. It's a bit... Yeah, it's been a long time since I've been in one of these. I reckon they should have just made this on one person. That's just my personal opinion. I'll lock the head locking back on, and we'll get stuck into building this thing. Now, outfitting. Now the reason why I got this, I want to be able to interdict things, I want to be able to, um, I don't know, do other things as well. Now what have we got? We've got the, these two on top. Now, we want to have beam lasers in here and I'm going to put level 3 torrented beam laser into those two points. Now the reason why I want level 3 torrented beam laser in there, this thing does not turn that's so bad it's not funny <laughs> but the engineers can modify that later I will be able with the engineers I'll be able to modify that later so let's put two of those into place now the reason why I want this is before if something's out turning me I can constantly keep firing at them and when I go to the engineer I'll be upgrading these ones too I won't make them light mounts because it's not going to really help this one now on this one on the other hand though we're going to go for multi cannons. Large multi cannon, right there. That's no, not. That's the one I want. Uh, that's about very gimbaled. Got to be careful. So I don't want torrent. I want gimbaled multi cannon. Oh, that does look mean coming out. <laughs> I like that. Now, we could go missile launches here, but let's stick to a very basic combination ship, which is going to be pretty much multi cannons. Now, I could go torrented, but I prefer Gimbal to have a little bit of control over it. Because um, torrented one basically just is there to get rid of the shields and so forth. I wouldn't take this into a conflict zone, I might take it into a low res. Um, so that actually doesn't look too bad. I'm going to change the colour yet of this ship as well. And now we want the next multi cannon. Um, right, that one. So we will go to the engineer and modify them. I have other ship. I have other other, other ships. They're modified, but I really want to. Don't really want to take things off and retake them off again. You know, I'm going to put them back on and take them off. Now that looks all absolutely mean, and <laughs> it's barely touching the bloody ground there. Almost touching the ground there. Okay, so that's that done. 
So let's go to utility mounts. Now, let's have a look at where we are on utility mounts. That's underneath. So, first things first, let's put a shield cell. Shield booster. We only want to put one on here because we can't fit more than one. Next, we're going to be putting a frame shift wake scanner. So we want, uh, let's go on scanners, wake scanners. Now we're going to go A, even though it does draw a lot more power. Um, you can go for a D, but then you're looking at the range um, of two, 200 and 2,500 meters. You could go up to that B, gives you 4,000 meters of range. Now you need this for engineers, which is kind of annoying. But I'll put it there, it looks good actually. I think that's, I'm not quite sure if that's, is that going to be interfering? Oh uh, yeah, okay. Now, we've got two more spaces left. Now, first one, we're going to be putting a uh, heat sink launcher. We definitely want one of those onto here because we're going to be putting shield boosters into this thing. Or shield cell bank, I should say. Um, and last but not least, we need a shift launcher. I uh, could go cargo scanner, I don't know yet. Um, or it's, uh, no. Shift launcher, just in case we need to use it. We've got it there, it's protected, so we fire it off. It's going to stop the laser lock on us. And we, either we have to run away or we have to fight. So that's pretty much done. After that, that does look like um, I have a mini Death Star on there. <laughs> I like the look of that. So in this case, the core, shall we? Now, this one, I mean, two mines. Now, I could keep it lightweight, but I want, I could go military. Um, well, that's actually not a bad, uh, bad option, but jump range we're looking at. Okay, with the reinforcement jump range, we're looking at everything on here is going to be 16 mass and 15 something related. If I go military, it drops it down to uh, it's 53 ton versus 26 ton. Bugger, I'll just simply go reinforce to start with, and if we need it, we can always use it. 90%, 200 something. Oh. Yeah, but look, the price difference is for almost a six pence at the bloody ship. Now, we'll just go to the basic one. It will help protect it, so that's all that matters. Now the power plant, we definitely go for 7A. We won't go anything less than the 7A for a power plant, because we're going to need to power... We don't really need it, but... I think, yeah, you do need the power plant. Thrusters, we're going to go for the max, because being honest with you, I want, if we need to boost, I want to get the hell out of there, you know what I mean? Okay. Frame shift drive, we're going to be going for the best we can get out of this. Life support, I honestly, we don't need the max. I was going to go max, but honestly, we don't really need it. It draws, uh, that draws a fraction of the power. Mm, 25 minutes or oh that should do the job we can always go into a planet I was going to put A graded into it but for what I'm doing I'm not exploring um, stuff like that now power distributor though I always go max we can boost this out with the engineers as well I'll do a couple of videos of going to the engineers and so forth. Now, this though is now a question. Do I go for a 6D, which is uh, 8 kilometers, or do I go for a 6A? The max range is 8 
max range of that kilometers power draw though. Um, hmm. I'm weighing up the option. Which one do I want to? I will just go for a 6D one. If we need to, we can always upgrade that later. Now, the reason why I come here is because of everything we need here. You can't upgrade the fuel tank, which is annoying. I'd like to see bigger fuel tanks than these things. On, like, we're in refined fuel tanks where you could possibly get um, a better thing. Oh, we just did all that. Oh. Okay, so we want to go to, to an optional tank. Now, first things first of all, solve this. Sell that one, we don't want that there. And we'll work our way down. First of all, we want no, 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 we'll put buy back a shield something. We want to do, 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 go to shield generators, that's the first thing we want. And we're going to be going a 6A. We want the best shield generator we can get on now. I could go for a lighter shield generator, but oh, one of those other ones. But now this one here, we want shield cell bank, and we want 6A as well. Now they have reduced these ones down, so they actually do work now with the heat sink launchers. So you get three of these. You should get five. Ah, well, we don't want five. Um. Hmm. Honestly, it's a maximum ammo for how many recharges do we get? Now we get five. I don't want five, do we? Now this is going to be interesting. Let's go to say I'm going to have a quick look at a five. Um, the reason why I'm saying this is interesting because I don't want something that's um, going to be more than no, that's a 5A is no good but even though it gives a good 245 let's go for a 4 let's go for a 6D no that's 4 uh, 5D 5D might work gives you 140 watts recharge um, I'll have a look at that. A 4A? How much of that gives? 155. That gives us 4. I still don't. Uh, 245. I'm contemplating how much. I want the max recharge, but it's. No, uh, that's no good. If, um. I might go for a 5A because it's 4, or 5D uses 3, but it's 140 though, so you've got to be careful when you're using it. Um, if I go for a 5A, or 6, it's pretty much the only the weight because it's 5, it gives me 2 extra than what I need to, and I need either put another shield cell booster onto there or not. Um, and there's a possible chance of overheating. So if I go a 5, a 5A, alright. It gives us four recharges, it gives us one extra. But since we've got these two empty, so what I'll do here is I'll put into here my fuel scoop. And I'll put the biggest I can put into it, which I want to do. So that will go into there. Next, we're going to be putting a, a cargo rack. Cargo rack. Um, this one gives us a extra room to take good goodies and also put um, other, like take goodies and also if we could do a bit of mining so I'll come across like that we can do that. Now I will put the shield so thank you to here. Well, this will be a test to see if it will work. It's going to be a five a shield top bank. There's no point putting it into a six slot because if it works, it works brilliant. Okay, so that's fine. We'll have to change it on here as well. Next, um, I 
this is where I'm going to hate this thing because of what actually I might put a planetary hanging bay into here because of it. Uh, yeah this one I will put a planetary um, planetary vehicle and we'll put this one here 4G now the reason I was thinking about putting gives us two two slots here which I'm happy with um, I was going to just get one slot but the next thing I want to fit in here like it's going to be I need a, um, a small slot for it so we need on here an FSD so we're not doing mining or anything on this one so it's pretty much just going to be out exploring things and getting getting goodies so forth like that so now we've got our flagship driving tick done and next we were going to put a planetary hanging painter there but we're going to put a col uh, collector lipid into here um i want i like having a docking computer but uh can't get everything so we're going to simply go for a one a collector limpet. We only need one to collect. If we kill something, instead of picking it up manually, we'll just go ahead and shoot. Just go ahead and shoot it. Um, shoot the shoot the, the collector limpet out and just do that. Next is going to be detailed surface. Surface but that one surface better so we want detailed surface better and the last one we're going to be putting we're going to be putting advanced discovery spanner so that I'll fix up on there but that's pretty much every, all the internals done everything's I'm happy with I will buy Olympic controllers and limpets and stuff like that. Next, we want to go into the paint job. Now, this is what I have available. I like that all these ones here I can have. I know you can buy more, but I don't really like it that much. But I think what I might do is simply go yeah we'll simply go here the pirate one I like the pirate one it looks nice now I might leave that blank now where do we want to put that Hmm. Uh, I don't want to buy extras. Uh, I want my Christmas tree. Come on. Oh, come on, this is... <sighs> wow. That took ages to do that. Yeah, we'll get to that. Well, that's it there. Okay, so I'm happy with that. That's really nice. Let's go into the modules. Now, Thrusters, uh, I'm going to put that to there for a second because I want to change that. Shield generator, we want to probably just put on to two or three. I'll get two. Frame shift, uh, wake scanner, we'll leave on four. 
Now, I'm bring, the, the reason why I bring up the Dao, we can use up to five, which is good. Um, Shall tell bank. I'll leave that on three. Beam lasers, leave on that. On entry, hanging bank and go to. Put that on four, and we'll also turn it off. We don't need it on. Uh, shield booster. Go. Excuse me. I just had to sneeze there. Now, the shield boosters. Um, shield. Yeah, to will leave on three. Multi cannon powered stupid will leave on one. Fuel scoop can go to five. Now the reason why you want fuel scoop at five is you you don't you don't use it when you fight when you need to fight. Uh, cargo hatch can go on to four. You want that to be able to turn that on when you can. Frame shift drive. I put that on to five because you don't really need that when you're fighting. That one there has to go to four. Life support can go to four. If your life support goes off, that's when you know you're gonna run away. Collect Olympic can go to four. Chef launcher can go to two. Heat sink launch can go to two. That's that done. Now fire grips are gonna be a bit more interesting. Okay, so what I might do is that would be my second new Friday one. Now, multi cannons though are all on one. Now, going across into here, now, see, Collect Olympic can go into that one, followed by, let's say, frame that one there. Uh, yeah, that can go onto this one because that won't fire, that won't activate when the weapons are drawn. Should be turned off. Let's have a look. Uh, frame shift. Um, uh, where did you go? I'm just going to double check in here if I activate it right. Frame shift drive into the you only need this when you're in super cruise. So that's on five at the moment. That won't get switched off though, but when your weapon's drawn that won't switch itself off. But there. Yeah, it's but it's not too bad. It, actually fuel scoop will go off. Off I'll leave the uh, leave the um planetary landing thing on. I can have that switched off. But I can turn the, 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 that off because that's fine. Now, and then we've got the advanced discovery spanner. I'm going to put that to there. So that's how you set it up. Quite simple. Now, one click, the, the beam lasers are going to be hooked onto my left hand thing. So when I activate the left hand weapons weapon thing, it's going to basically just fire that and they'll take care of that. I'll select it at target and only and stuff like that because when they fly above you you're basically able to handle it even flight assist off and then you can use multi cannons and stuff like that for gimbaled weapons. Collect Olympic is and the frame shift one can hmm actually I'll make that with that one uh, and the frame shift ah damn it That's better. That would be better because that way they don't accidentally set the limpets out unless after I kill them. So that is all done. Inventory don't have to change. Now functions. We want target only, which is good. Now, quick way to test this ship. We're going to pretty much when we activate our fires, we're only using 97% power. So first of all, let's go buy some 
Restock. Now we did have over 500 million. We just spent 230 odd million, which is not too bad. Now I can fit some of these in here, but before we do that, we're going to go into here because we would sell basically by the depends on how many they are, and we've got 20 available to us, so we're going to buy those. Now the reason why I bought I want Olympic control is because I'm lazy. I really want to, if I kill something, I want to be able to just pick it up and take it out. You know what I mean? Um, use that to do that. That's repairs. Um, and we'll buy, say, 30 of those. Uh, let's go. 20. That will do. So, now we'll take this out. Now, the reason why I want to take this out is because I want to test this. We don't have um, a docking computer or anything like that in here, which I would like, but it's pretty much just a quick test. bit iffy, I'm surprised. Now I'm only getting about 17 frames per second here. I don't know why, um, but it must be something to do with the game. Last night I was getting really good frames per second. But now it just seems to be want to... So let's boost and see what happens. Our top speed is... 343 I think. Now let's have a way scanner. Let's see if we can scan this thing. That's in 4K range which is fantastic because that's all I want to do is be able to scan it like that. And I'm trying to Where is this other one? Some slight like to vanish. Then Now, um, I'm actually happy with this setup. You have to, fair enough, you have to, like, if I was collecting, like, there's a G scanner and that's a collector limpet, which is okay. Then you can just scan the system like that, which uh, most of the time I will be using. That's my main weapons. So, now, let's try. Um, first of all, okay, let's just log on to here. Let's go boost. And now let's turn the flight assist off. Flight assist off. Oh yeah, this is slow. You need boost to help you when you do spinning like this. Interesting. Now let's put away the weapons. I really don't want to accidentally fire the weapons at something. So let's try this again through the controller. So let's see if we're hunting down some of your flights and stuff. Yeah, you can use boost and you can use. You have to use boost when you use flight assist stuff. But it's sort of like, ah, uh, it's not that 
cool. Then if you've got a combination like that, so you've got to boost up and pull up. You get it. Depends if you want to get reverse or not. Two boosts, maybe. So we're looking at least two boosts for that. That's not too bad. Well, I'm going to let's see if we can land this thing, and then we're going to. Access granted. Set down on landing pad three eight. Now, my next thing will be going to the engineers, and we'll fly there. Um, and then when we get there, I will activate. I'll do, do a quick video of it and have a look at what we can actually achieve from the engine, each end engineer. That was 28, was 38. The quality is, I don't know why, it's just really terrible. Landing gear deployed. But, she flies nice, it's going to be good, except for that bar there, that's the thing. As I said before, this is something you don't take into a conflict zone. You simply want to just do what I want to do for missions. Mate, the rebuy cost of this ship is going to cost me 11 million, almost 12 million. I could have put the what's name onto there, but I don't really need it. So, uh, my name is King Admiral Commander Black Dragon Double Elite signing off. Thank you again for watching my videos and um, all comments are welcome. You all have a great day now.